the Alfie Wattam podcast. So if you thought the Astro was crazy, this one is perhaps um, either like genius or like completely like insane. Like they say there's like fine line between the two. I don't know if this one blurs it or if it's just kind of like one or, one or the other. This is called the Hush Me. Um, this is basically a um, like a face mask built out of tech, which stops other people from hearing what you're saying. So if you're on the tube or if you're, um, I suppose, in a really noisy office or a cafe and you want to have a private conversation, you know, those like phone booths, like you might in my WeWork, you've got to go into like a little phone booth. This kind of replaces a phone booth by putting this thing on your face, which um, if you speak, the person on the other end of the, the, the phone will, will hear you. Um, and then if you wear headphones, you'll be able to hear them. So you could have, you could sit here, I'd have a full conversation. You guys would be none the wiser. Um, it just looks like my mouth is moving a little bit, but in reality, I've got this thing on my face. So um, here's what it looks like. <laughs> um, for those on uh, audio, turn on the video. Um, it comes in different colors. Uh, it's released, um, I think it was a year or two ago, but, but this is uh, another technology people are saying is going to be you know, a lot more present in the post-COVID world, arguably. Um, but yeah, interesting. That's a hush me. Um, and there are, of course a lot of competitors doing a similar thing. I think there's just been a new one released which kind of combines the concept of a face mask with um, with this, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, what what are what are your, your thoughts on, on the hush me, um, my dear? What's, what's your perspective? This one looks interesting because, I mean, it solves a problem. It has a use case. Yeah. It doesn't look like something dystopian, in my opinion. It's literally yeah. what we're trying to solve is the phone boot yeah. is portable and actually more uh, usable. So... I think he's gonna find his own his own space. Okay. Okay. Well, what's what's your point of view? I fully agree. I see a use case for this, especially with now you know people working remotely, working from different places. Uh, perhaps now you can work from anywhere and still have confidential private conversations. And even in the offices now, I mean, yeah. office spaces are now a bit more crammed because yeah. you know with the hybrid working model, you really don't you know like we don't find easily like spaces where to have like private chat in a way. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. there is a use case for that. And I also like that. It inverts the problem. So now, if you're in an office, uh, in an office, and someone is speaking on the phone very loudly, everyone else needs to do something about it. Like yeah. you need to wear headphones, noise cancelling. You need to leave the room, etc. Whereas with this, if that person is using that, is no it? one else gets affected. So yeah, yeah. it's a, a much easier solution. I think it's it's interesting because from a pure design perspective, it looks a bit. It, it looks a bit ridiculous, right? Like having like this huge thing strapped to your mouth. It, it kind of reminds me of the, the Batman movie. Is it like, is it Bane? <laughs> the guy who has the, the, the huge thing on his face. Um, but I said exactly the same thing about AirPods. Exactly. Like, I, I thought AirPods looked ridiculous. It was like, um, like oh, what did people say they were like? Um, uh, it was like in the bathroom. Was it like, wasn't toothpicks? It was... Um, oh, yeah, like like the, the, the cotton. cotton yeah. Yeah, 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 it was like that. But this is... It's a sort of thing. If you would just wore it yourself, and you're the only one in the room, you'd get like weird glances. But if if it's like AirPods and everybody kind of knows what they are and is using them, then then yeah, then like you know, you could it makes sense. It depends if you care about what people think. But the thing is, the sign and fashion will easily solve this problem because it has a use case. And I mean, we already have devices. We already have wearables anyway. And you know, yeah. that's going to be just one more. Yeah. Yeah. Would you would you guys wear something like this? Do you, do you think? Do you think would you, would you feel comfortable like on the tube like with, with that on your? I mean, it's just a face mask at the end of the day, kind of. I mean, after COVID, it's kind of made it a little bit more accessible, if, if you know what I mean. But um, would you would you be happily walk around with with, with this on or in an office? It wouldn't it wouldn't bother you. No, I think I would give it a go. And again, it's it's a trend, right? Once yeah. things become yeah viral or popular sure. like they become normal right yeah. as you said the airpods i mean we're wearing this headset yeah. yeah 30 years ago or 50 years ago they were like what are they doing <laughs> what's that and it's just like that i mean yeah. Yeah. it didn't took much like to, to become like a mass adoption anyway and in london definitely i will try it i mean yeah this yeah. is the place where yeah you can literally walk and, and be yourself and oh, do whatever oh you want man. without yeah, problems, yeah, yeah. so you know but th that's a good point i mean mm. these things are not or it should be tried in certain not should be but are easily it, tried in certain environments, right? Sure. I would try it here, but yeah. I don't know if I would go in to and another city. <laughs> yeah, and I would be like, yeah. hey. That's a, that's a great thing about London or, or New yeah. York. Everybody's like, well, not everybody, but a lot of people are, are extremely crazy. So if you just put this on your face, it's fine. Like, cause eccentric. Like, eccentric yeah. is probably the, the right <laughs> word to use. I think actually it. people would get closer to you and ask you, hey, what is that? Yeah, yeah, curious yeah. and genuinely interested in that. But then you've got to take it off to tell them because they can't hear you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's yeah. A, or you can call them. <laughs> so you can. Yeah. 
I've got um like younger cousins and and stuff and and when when hiring people uh if i hire people out of like straight out of school or uni and stuff even though you know i'm, I'm not that much older than them it, it's it's very crazy to see just how different people are especially people that went to school during covid and, and university because there are a lot more i don't know if introverted is the right word to use but um their interactions have been la- a lot more on zoom and on online as opposed to um you know, throwing sticks at each other when they were no kids, which which was like like the, the funniest thing to do. But I, I feel like a lot of people don't have that um, communication skills a, a, as much as some other people do. That that perhaps a little bit older, and because of that, um, they would feel more comfortable wearing this because having a conversation, like if you're like a salesperson and you've got to be walking up and down an office having a conversation on the phone, it's it's kind of cringy if other people are listening to you. I don't know if you've if you've ever done that, but it's it's like you don't want to fail because you don't want to be embarrassed to the people around you. But if you if you were wearing one of these, it doesn't matter if you, yeah. if, you, if, you if it goes well or not, or if you're having a, you know, doing a, uh, a call with a recruiter in an office, you don't have to run out, out of the building anymore to have that conversation. Yeah. You can just, you know, put put this on. So I see uses, right? You Although you're, we are putting a lot of trust in tech in the case, because if there's malfunctioning, <laughs> you'll be really scared if you have a prior conversation. But yeah, it's true, completely yeah. true. Do, do you think um, because of COVID and face masks, this sort of thing is uh, a lot more likely to to succeed because of those events, like the normalisation normaliza- of, of wearing like something on your on your face. Do you because if you combine purification technology into this, um, a lot of people just wear it as a face mask, and then like th- that that becomes a use case. Then like the the anti sound is like like secondary, but it still can can do that. Um, do you think that would like adding that in would like be a, a big plus for people? Or what, what do you think, Sasha? Perhaps, yeah. I mean, if I'm just thinking about the video we just saw, and if you think about it, it, does, it looks more like a medical device yeah. at the moment, right? Like you, you have something for your mouth or something that you need for your, I don't know, your for jaw. teeth. Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> yeah. something like that. So it is possible, yeah. But I, I'm unsure about this, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what's your take? Yeah, I mean, there's there been more normalization of actually not showing our mouth, our expressions, let's say in the Western world, whereas in the East was more common, uh, although... I mean, like like you said, like first we need to break the perception. Or is this like a medical device? Is like a, a device fit for a specific purpose or a mass adoption device? Something yeah. cool? Yeah. Like we, when we're gonna have the cool effect, then I think mass adoption will come. With, yeah. with, with mass adoption, you often need like an Apple to get behind it. Like if they had like a really like clean version with like the Apple logo on it and and, and stuff, and you know, then it becomes something that's used by millions of people and 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 the thing about tech is it just all gets copied anyway by a lot of the big companies like i know apple are releasing their um vr ar mixed reality headset i think it's this year is like what all the rumors are going to be saying and um and that 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 might change the whole perception of meta from um a business which has struggled to to get vr off the ground it's the graphics are terrible and if apple can then pull it off then suddenly the metaverse becomes like you say mass adoption you know accessible so sometimes it takes a big company to um to kind of prove that the startups are doing something right if if that makes any sense yeah, and, and Apple is great at that because I mean they they are great at learning at mistakes of other companies and then come second or third and then try to improve that. Okay, let's uh, let's guess the price of uh, Hush Me. What, what what do you what do you think? It's probably an expensive one. Um, it's not it's not crazy. Seventeen hundred. Okay. Okay. Mm, that's that's very apt. Uh, stand by fifteen hundred. Okay, you're both gonna be blown away. It's cheap. It's two hundred and thirty dollars. I'm gonna buy that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure you can. I think it's. Um, I think they did a bunch of, of campaigns, and and I believe it is out there for purchase um, at the moment. At two hundred and thirty dollars, it's yeah, probably worth it. Like okay. in, in, in some respect. I mean, you, you, of course, this is just the concept, right? We w- we yeah. need to test it. Is it that effective? Yeah. Is the battery good? Is it comfortable to yeah. wear? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is the sound on the other side? Good, like, as in, like, is it a good microphone? Like, or, yeah. And that's yeah. an element of trust, I guess. We like, yeah. you really need to try out exactly. a few times. And and see are are they listening to your conversation? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Is everything being recorded? No, but it, it's. Uh, it, I think the price is uh, reasonable. I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> you could buy like like, like we, five of these for an Astro. I mean, like, uh, would you rather have five Hushmis or one Astro? Give them as gifts, I suppose. I, I have these ones, and I'm gonna yeah. give the rest of my team. <laughs> they yeah, can they, have yeah, them. Yeah, it's not weird anymore. Like, if, you're all, if an outsider walks in, you're all wearing them, though. Which, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. What have I walked into? Yeah, it's 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 interesting. Yeah, 
Hey, thanks for watching this YouTube video. If you wanna see more like this, please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.